Hey everybody, it's Minius, and this is kind of a video idea I've been kicking around for a while, which I'm finally getting to now because it's actually topical. And that's the idea of the unused or unfinished dark energy plotline from the original trilogy returning for Mass Effect Andromeda. A lot of you have been bringing that up. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. First of all, what is dark energy? And the correct answer is... We don't know. We can't see it or experiment with it, which is why it's called dark. We do know that something is there, though, because we can see its effect on the stuff we can detect. As simply put as possible, we can detect the fact that the universe appears to be expanding at an accelerated rate, and as one of the articles in the description box put it, as if some mysterious dark energy is blowing it up like a balloon. And we know that that shouldn't be happening on its own, because gravity in theory should be slowing this expansion. And there are many ideas as to what the dark energy phenomenon really is, but experts disagree and ultimately don't really know because they can't actually test this stuff. And that's not what this video is about. It's about dark energy as it relates to Mass Effect and potentially Mass Effect Andromeda. And dark energy will 100% be a part of Mass Effect Andromeda because it's a fundamental part of how the Mass Effect universe is set up, specifically with biotics. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create Mass Effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. As far as how biotics work, that's somewhat bizarre, but when it comes to the actual unfinished plotline of dark energy in the trilogy, it kind of fits because the concept had to do with dark energy destroying the universe, and in reality, dark energy is pushing the universe apart, which kind of destroys it, at least in terms of what we know. There were at least two potential directions of this original plotline. First, the idea that the use of dark energy by advanced biotic-wielding civilizations hastens the end of the universe. The Reapers, being immortal, didn't like this and therefore cleansed the galaxy of advanced civilizations every 50,000 years. The other direction had to do with the idea of the Reapers trying to find the right biotic-wielding species to stop the end of the universe, in this case, using dark energy to counter that effect. Synthetics in Mass Effect, like the Reapers, can't manipulate dark energy and would need someone to do this for them. The destruction of advanced civilizations then would clear the path for new and potentially more powerful organic species to develop and then fit the Reaper's needs, however they envision this sort of thing working. And you might notice something with these plot lines. They both heavily involve the Reapers. There will not be Reapers in Andromeda. The entire dark energy plot line would need to be reworked quite a bit to fit in this new game. And from what we know about the next Mass Effect through leaks and hints, this destruction of the universe thing doesn't really fit the plot, unless it's something that's hidden. But basically, the destruction of the entire universe is not a great opener for a new branch of the series. That's more of an endgame thing. As interesting and ingrained in the Mass Effect fandom that this plotline is, I don't think they should go there. At least yet. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. One more thing that's worth getting into, this dark energy plotline was originally revealed by Drew Karpishan, who was the lead writer of the Mass Effect series before he moved on to the Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, and there's a belief that this dark energy plotline was well developed and set in stone before Drew left, and that belief is false. At best, the dark energy plotline was mostly undeveloped at the time of his departure. The idea that this dark energy thing was ready to go is a product really of wishful thinking on behalf of Mass Effect fans who didn't like the way the trilogy ended, even if those fans have a pretty good reason to look for an alternative. But let's move to the future. Do you have a way to appropriately use this dark energy plotline in Mass Effect Andromeda? Let everyone know in the comments section below. Also, you should really keep in mind dark energy is not dark matter. They are different. If you want some information, I've got a bunch of articles in the description box. Also in the description box is an interview with Drew Karpishan about this subject and more. It's actually quite a fascinating listen. If you're a huge Mass Effect fan, and I'm going to go ahead and guess you are, I've got some timestamps along with an accompanying article. And this video was kind of a short, nerdy blurb while we wait for some really good stuff. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below, or by giving it a like. Because if you like this video, you should give it a like. It really helps out the channel. Keep an eye on Minius GC for more nerdiness and other Mass Effect videos. But for now... 
I should go.